Depression Baby. Stories about growing up in Appalachia and other things, too. With my dad, Ray B. Rogers. On August 16th, 1929, I came into this world kicking and screaming. I reckon that made me a Depression Baby. Depression Baby is a World Songs media production. Brought to you by Depression Baby, the book. Available in Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. And soon audiobook at raybrogers.com. In this episode, Ray tells us about a place he grew up. A place called Hanging Dog. Hanging Dog is the place where I was born. But it is more than a place. It's easy to be from Hanging Dog. You don't have a lot to live up to. And there's only one way to go, and that is up. The name Hanging Dog may seem a bit far out, but our family didn't think so since we moved there from Jupiter, a really far out place. One might inquire, where is Hanging Dog? Well, almost everyone knows that Hanging Dog is about a mile out the Dalewood Road from Frog Level. To get to Frog Level, you just come down Depot Street from the main street of Waynesville, North Carolina, cross the railroad tracks, and there you are. How did Hanging Dog get this outstanding name? We can't be sure, but I will let you make a choice from one of the following scenarios. My great uncle, Dr. Nick Medford, and his friend, the Haywood County Sheriff, liked to hunt bears that frequented the nearby mountains. In order to hunt bears, one needs to have bear dogs. Of course, it would not be proper for Uncle Nick to keep these big, sometimes noisy bear dogs at his fine home on Love Lane. Therefore, he and the sheriff contracted with an old guy up at the end of Fraser Street to keep their bear dogs. Then there's the Cherokee legend of the hanging dog. It seems that there was this Cherokee brave who owned a large dog. The Indian brave fell into a rain-swollen stream and was swept away. The big dog ran down the bank of the stream jumped in and rescued the Indian brave from drowning. But then the surging water swept the huge dog off his feet and into the water. His neck was caught in the fork of a tree, and he could not free himself and was hung in the raging river. Did Hanging Dog get its name from this sad and tragic Cherokee legend? Or was it named after the bear hunting dogs who lived up on Fraser Street? Or maybe it could have been the hangdog look of some of the residents who live thereabouts. Maybe it could be a mix of the above. It's not for me to say. We hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of Depression Baby. And if you did, my dad has one important request. If this podcast brought a little smile to your day, would you please consider right now subscribing for free to the podcast and kindly leaving a nice five-star rating and review on iTunes. You can make the difference in getting Depression Baby in front of a wider audience and help preserve this disappearing legacy. If you need any help with how to subscribe to the podcast, just go to raybrogers.com and look for the podcast tab on the main menu. Thanks to our audio and musical contributors, including our friend Lobo Loco. You can find out more about him and all the rest of the music and audio in the show notes at, you guessed it, rabyrogers.com. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time on the Depression Baby Podcast.